Hello everyone. So in today's class we are going to see about proteins. Student reader 6 and page number 23. I repeat. Student reader 6 and page number 23. Okay now let's start with the introduction. Protein plays a very important role in our body. They are needed for building bones, muscles and for growth. So we need protein to build our bones, muscles and for our growth okay so they are known as bodybuilding foods so what are known as bodybuilding foods yes correct protein proteins are known as bodybuilding foods children need more proteins because they are still growing okay yes so rather than the old one all the children need more protein because they are growing in their initial stage, right? They are growing in the younger stage. So, they need more protein than the old one. We must, we must have protein in sufficient quantities and exercise daily to be fit and strong. So, we need to eat a sufficient amount of protein food. And then you have to exercise daily to be fit and to be strong. Okay, in order to be fit and strong, you need to exercise daily. Yes, so this is the introduction. So all the young children need, everyone need protein. But mainly the younger ones need sufficient amount of protein in their body to grow. Okay, now come to the food items that have proteins. So what are all the food items that contain protein? So here are some examples. Food items from dairy, meat and beans, food groups such as milk, paneer, curd, eggs, chicken, chenna and dal have proteins in them. So these kind of foods have major amount of protein in them. See, uh, they have given some uh, pictures. See the first one, milk, curd, eggs, chicken. Shena. So these are all the major protein content food. So try to eat them in a sufficient amount which your body requests in your daily life, in your day for your daily activities. Okay. But don't forget to exercise daily. So why we are exercising? To be fit and to be strong. To keep our body fit and to keep our body strong. And once again, why we need protein in our body? To build bones, muscles and for our growth. So protein is called the bodybuilding food. Yes. Yes. Now coming to the next topic, vitamins and minerals. Next nutrient. What nutrient is this? Vitamins and minerals. Let's start with the introduction. The same page. Page number 23. Introduction Vitamin and minerals protect us from germs and keep our body healthy. So this helps us to keep away from germs. Okay. So they are known as protective foods. So vitamins and minerals are called protective foods. Yes. They make our eyes, teeth and bones strong and healthy. And they help in making blood. So this vitamin and minerals filled food help us help our eyes, teeth and bones strong and it helps to produce new bloods. Okay. Yes. Yes. This is the short introduction for vitamins and minerals. This is one kind of nutrient. Now we'll turn the page. Page number 24. Student reader 7. Food items that have vitamins and minerals. So what are all the food that contains vitamins and minerals? Let's see. Food items from the fruits and vegetables food group have the nutrients, vitamins and minerals in them. So all the kind of foods and fruits and vegetables contain vitamin and minerals nutrient in it. Okay. So here are some examples. See here. In fruits, they have given two orange and mango. In vegetables, again, they have given two one is carrot and cabbage. So, all kind of fruits and vegetables contains what nutrient? Yes, vitamins and minerals. Now, 
the last line food item from different group food items from different food groups have different nutrients they help our body grow and remain healthy so we should eat food from all food groups okay so whatever food we eat all the food contains different types of nutrients and it is very important to our body okay all the nutrients in our body uh, sorry all the nutrients we require uh, for our growth body building muscle building bone building and for everything for our or sorry for our overall growth okay so they help our body grow and remain healthy so we should eat food from all food groups we need to eat we should not omit any kind of food we should eat all the types of food in order to get all the nutrients in our body for our body okay this is that's all so we have seen all the nutrients in detail please go through all the nutrients and their food items thank you